What is going on subscribers? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to get footage with your drone and make it look like this. Also, side note, click down below the little subscribe button that allows you to get notified every time I make videos so you guys can learn more. All right, so this is how the video is gonna go. First, I'm gonna give you guys a mindset on what you guys should be thinking about when you're shooting. Secondly, I'm gonna be giving you guys some cinematic shots that you guys can do on this drone. And then lastly, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to edit your videos so that it can look pristine. All right, so for the beginning topic, it's going to be what you are selling. This is more of a mindset thing. It doesn't really matter what you're taking videos of, whether it be just your hobby and you're doing scenery or you're doing it for real estate. You want your object to be something that you are selling with your drone footage. And if you think of it like that, it can take you many places. All right, so based off of this, I'm gonna give you guys two different examples. One, in my previous video, I was showing off my desk. So that is an object that I'm showing off. In a video that I'm gonna show you next, it's gonna be of nature and scenery. So I'm just gonna kinda of show you guys how I'm selling both the nature and the scenery and the desk. So now you've thought about where and how you want to shoot. Next thing, you actually have to take the footage. So with that, if you have the DJI Mavic Mini, inside of the application, you have different presets is what they're called. Um, and the first one is a circle. So it circles around your object. The next one is the helix, and that kind of does an upward spiral of your object. The next one is the rocket, which goes straight up from your object. And the last one is called the Droney, and that kind of does a diagonal. Next, I'm gonna share with you guys three other shots that I really enjoy that are simple, yet get the job done. The first one is gonna be the loaded round shot. Here's an example right here. As you can see, just getting super low to the object that you're going to can have a super cool cinematic feel. Next one is called the reveal, and that's where you're flying, and all of a sudden the gimbal starts to slowly go up, and it reveals the big object that you wanted to show off. And lastly is the follow. So you have your object or your person, and you're essentially just following that object, and you can either go past it, or you can just keep on following it. All right, so now that we have where and how we want to shoot done, and we have the actual footage for it. Now we have to edit this footage to make it look spectacular. So let's head into Adobe Premiere. I'll give you guys some different options that you can use if you don't have availability to Adobe Premiere. And uh, let's get right into it. So once you've powered on your drone, and you plugged in your drone into your computer, you're gonna see a USB drive D here, or it might be in a driver, different driver name. You wanna click on that. You're gonna gra grab the films that you want copy them, and put them into the folder that you're going to remember, and paste them. 
I've already put them in here, so I'm just gonna exit out of that. Once that is done, you now have them on your internal storage. So now, once you have Adobe Premiere 2020 open, or any version of Adobe Premiere, you're going to wanna go to the assembly, and just double click an open space, and that'll bring up all your films. So you're gonna choose your films that you want. I've already selected them and click open. And then once you have the, all your videos in here, you then can go through and edit them right on the assembly. So this is just basically choosing what part of the videos that you want in your video. So let's click this for example. You're gonna double click and then it'll show up in the main screen here. And basically you mark your endpoint with this right here. You play it where you want your out inside of that. And then once you have your in and your out selected, you just simply drag it into here and you've got yourself your video. So do that with all of your clips, bring them into here, and then we're going to jump inside of the editing tab here. This is where we're going to do all of our editing. In this video, I'm going to show you how I did the slow to fast to slow shot. Um, essentially, I'm just changing up the, the middle section's speed and duration. If you guys want more editing tips and tricks, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, this video actually came as a recommendation from Khalid out in Sydney. Uh, that is so awesome that you are watching these videos. Um, so I just want to give you a shout out to you. I will be making a video in the future for editing options that are out there that are free, that are just as good as Adobe Premiere. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.